Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Today, today is the day we are going to tackle my pantry. <laughs> this thing, no joke, is a nightmare. It is so messy in there, it's hard to find stuff. It's just, it is a disaster and it needs to get done. So if you've been following along with my closet clean out series, I've done all three of my kids' closets and I will be sure to put the links for those in the description box below so you can check those out as well. But I really, this like needs to get done because now it's like driving me crazy, <clears throat> excuse me. So I went on the Container Store's website to kind of check out what they had and their pricing. They did have like I guess they called them like pantry kits and they were anywhere from like 160 to like 200 depending on what you needed and that just wasn't really working with the budget that I had so I actually went to Marshall's so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I got from Marshall's I spent I think it was 79 total for everything it's still expensive or on the higher end so I mean it might not work for everybody but I did try to keep it budget friendly I do have Dollar Tree bins in here that I plan on using those as well, but I just, right now, what I have in there is not working. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I have from Marshalls, and then I'm gonna show you this nightmare, and then we're gonna tackle it. So <laughs> let me show you what we've got from Marshalls, and let's get to it. All right, so I'm just gonna give you guys a quick kind of overview of what I've got. These were actually from Target that I had bought when we um, purchased a refrigerator. I wanted to like organize that. So these were just left over from that, but Marshalls did have these baskets um, or similar, like a similar style um, at the Marshalls that I went to, but they were like a blue color, but you can definitely find baskets like this at Marshalls. So these were the containers and I actually thought, let me just see, I actually really liked these, like this system versus the like push top one. So <clears throat> they come with these lids. So I've gotten a couple of different sizes here. I've got two of these trays. I found two of these, the Sistema. I actually use these for the kids for lunches and I really like this brand. So I got this for like cereal. And then this I also really liked because um, we <clears throat> do a lot of like baking and stuff. But I actually thought this was really cute. Um, for rice it comes with like a measuring cup so I figured I could put rice in here and then I could just use this instead of having to like take the whole bag out and that's also by the brand Sistema and then I have two of these the most expensive item was this one which was $9.99 everything else was I think I want to say $7.99 $6.99 $5.99 or $4.99. So I felt like this was a lot of stuff, reasonably priced. Um, <clears throat> so let's see what works, what I use, and now let's go take a look at the pantry. All right, guys, cue horror music. Oh my gosh, okay. So <clears throat> I tried <laughs> to keep it organized, it just wasn't working. But here I have chicken broths, there's soups in the back. Up there is a box of cornflake to make cornflake crumbs. There's tomato sauces. All the way in the back, do you see those boxes? Those are the bags for when you like brine a turkey. In these bins, it's pasta. <clears throat> and this, what? Like this is a nightmare. This is all snacks and cereal. I mean, you can't find anything if you're looking for it. You are, just dig through stuff, it's, it's just terrible. Down here, I have some rices, oil, honey, extra ketchup, beans, mac and cheese. And like you can see, like I labeled stuff. It was neat for a little while. <clears throat> and then it just got out of control. <clears throat> um, here's like my all my baking stuff. Again, this one's like not so terrible, but it is just, uh, I don't know. It's just messy. <laughs> it's just very messy. Um, and then down here, and if you couldn't tell, um, we like sprinkles and sprinkles, a whole thing of sprinkles, more sprinkles. <laughs> so we like to bake in this house. Um, but I have like just a bunch of stuff. So I'm actually going to pull everything out. I'm going to wipe the shelves down and I'm going to just go through and we are going to just tackle this mess. So let's get started. <music> Wake up at mine 
completely empty. Are you guys ready for this nightmare? <laughs> like what? What? Wow. Okay. So, um, this is a lot. It's a lot, but I'm going to go through it. But I actually also wanted to show you, so like I had mentioned before, we do a lot of baking. So I got these containers from the Dollar Tree and I just labeled some of them Easter. This one is like Christmas, uh, Halloween, this is summer. So this is like a great little hack for if you have a lot of like baking liners. And then there's some over there that I could probably put in here. But this is, this is pretty insane. to get a whole lot more interesting because Everly just woke up from her nap and I still have <laughs> this nightmare pile behind me and I'm about to unleash a toddler on that so that's gonna be fun I'm gonna go get her um, wish me luck of course as soon as I put her down <sighs> Evie what are you doing this. this oh gosh okay I need to hustle <laughs> because this is about to get bad. Here we go.
you guys. <laughs> that was such a challenge. It was so hard having Everly in the mix <laughs> while I was trying to do stuff. She kept taking things and bringing them in other rooms and then I couldn't find things. It was hard, it was definitely a challenge. Um, and then I had to stop because I had to go get Cooper from school. So you can hear Everly in the background asking for bubbles, I'm sorry. <laughs> So anyway, I'm pretty happy with how it came out, but let me go ahead and show you what I did. All right, so here is the finished product. I'm pretty happy with how it came out. Um, I may eventually just switch out these like blue bins and just switch to like these ones here. I'm not sure yet, but so let me start with the top shelf here. This is the one shelf that I kind of struggled with. I need to kind of come up with a better system. So I have some extra tortillas and a pizza crust here. What I'm thinking is I might put something here that I could like hang this on. Does that make sense? Um, because this takes up so much room. So I'm gonna see if I can find something to put on the door. But for now, that's where they'll stay. In this back bin here is all unopened boxes of pasta and then the two here that are in the front are open. I have two cans of sauce and then just in the back I have some pesto. I have like a red pepper sauce and then a small sauce and a tomato paste. Back here these are my cornflake crumbs. I need to take the box that I had in here and make more crumbs. Oh thank you! Make more crumbs. Um, but what I want to do is get one of these bins for that. No no out. Out, ma'am. No, thank you. <laughs> Troublemaker. Um, so I want to get another one of those bins for that because I think that that would be good. So I'll go back to Marshall's to get that. Back here, I just have some like little soup, um, soup, like what are they, cans and whatnot. And then here, I just have extra chicken broth. And then I put our mac and cheese boxes here. So again, this shelf I think needs a little bit of work, but still is much neater and you can still find what you're looking for. This shelf is all of our snacks. We definitely have a lot of snacks, so I think I need to just like limit how many we have um, at once. <laughs> but what I did was I used our two containers for cereal. And then back here, I hid like our gummies and like chocolates, like our little treat bin. That's back there. And then, chips. you want chips? Okay, hold on one second. And then back here, I just put some more like crackers, pretzels. I have some animal crackers and things like that. Crackers and pretzels. Crackers and pretzels. And then back here, I just have potato chips and then some tortilla chips. Um, so I definitely think we just need to be a little bit better about like how many snacks we have but I think that that will kind of help with what's in that like on that shelf and then here I have my container for my rice I have all my boxes of rice lentils and dry beans and then this whole roll right here is all my beans back here I have two boxes of um, ranch dressing mix I don't know if it's focused sorry um, and then back there I have an extra ketchup and then a um, like a marinade and then I have two things of um, enchilada sauce and then you can kind of see it back there I have one thing of um, Jiffy like cornbread mix and then here this is just Nutella um, almond butter peanut butter Ovaltine and then this is actual um, like maple powder that I use to make the kids oatmeal So I put this down here because this is stuff that the kids can grab and then all the way you see the snow um, All the way in the back. I have some brewer's yeast and um, Like a collagen powder um, and that's stuff that like I use for smoothies and whatnot and then here I just have some extra cooking sprays and then my canola oil. And then down here is most of the baking stuff that I have. Wow, wow. snow. Wow, snow. Oh my goodness. So That's here, outside. I see. So out here, 
sorry, out here, <laughs> right here, I have just um, some cocoa powder, cocoa nibs, I have a thing for pumpkin pie, I have Crisco vegetable oil, I have sweetened condensed milk. So that's kind of like my extras. And then in this bin in the back, I have um, like whole wheat flour, almond flour, and um, just different types of flours there. And then that jar in the back actually was our wedding favor. That's hard to see from my wedding. So for our 10 year anniversary, I don't even know if it will still be good, but I saved it. Um, maybe we'll, we'll make them. Um, and then back here, I just have like some extra, I'm sorry if it's not focusing, extra confectionery sugar, brown sugar, marshmallows, and then coconut. And then I have all of our baking chips here, as well as some in here, and then some M&Ms, um, because we use those to make cookies also. And then here I just put some cake mixes and then one frosting. And then all the way down here I have some, I have my baking cups, my like cupcake liners in these two bins. And then I have um, cornstarch and then all the way in here I have all of our like spices and things that we need for baking needs and extracts. Oh, you got snow in the cups, good job bud. And that goes there and then in this bin and in that back bin there I have all of our sprinkles Oy, we definitely have a sprinkle problem but that is where everything is sorry if I was rushing I'm sure it might have been hard to hear me with the kids but that is it all right guys, so I really hope you all enjoyed this pantry makeover. Um, it definitely was, was challenging like I said before. No. And I'm sorry for all the loud noise in the background, but now I have two kids no. at the home and they're very excited about the snow. Um, but if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.